Okay, welcome back to Doctor Who The Eternity Clock, my semi-blind let's play. Which means, of course, that I have played the first 504 levels before. Um, right now we're in the undergrounds of London, and um, we, we're hanging out with River Song. What are you doing here? How did you find me? Someone told me you needed my help. It wasn't me, was it? It was the other woman. What seems to be the problem this time? Of course, normally. Oh, nothing much. Stuck under the Bank of England while a time This is, uh, the universe to this is actually made to be a two-player game, so. Um, I love it when you're mystified. Which I'm means that normally you're supposed to play as uh, one guy is supposed to play is. as the Doctor, and here. the other person is supposed to play as River Song. So we can do all sorts of neat puzzles Perfect like standing on platforms while the other turns the switch. Exciting. Ow. I probably should have anticipating that heard it. Uh and then we I'll need to lower the ladder. Like so. And then River comes. Um, yeah. Playing this as a single player, there is a lot of just standing around waiting for your uh, your AI partner to uh, get a hold of herself and There's a bridge come to where you are. But we need to find some way to activate it. Otherwise, it's actually we'll just a, a pretty again. standard puzzle platformer, uh, a la uh, out of this world. <laughs> and you've probably heard all this before if, we've yo if you've watched the first episode, and I apologize. Um, yeah. Ow, ow, ow! Hop, hop, hop! We need to find a way past this steam. Oh, Doctor, you don't want to get steamy? You're along with your wife and everything. Ah, this should do it. Shut off this valve. And those pipes will cool down. Puzzle thing! Okay, let's see. That turns on that. And... Yay! And running. And crawling. Jumping. Huh. Jump. You know, he's very fit for a nine hundred year old man. Crawly jump. Jump. Yes. And then we go over here, around the corner. In London? What are they up to? What else? They're converting people. Look at those storage units. They've been here some time. Cybermen in London! What a surprise! <clears throat> yeah. Alright, be careful. We'll be fine as long as we stay out of sight. Oop. Oops. Halt, or you will be deleted. Data download <laughs> in progress. Well, you certainly can't call me the great intelligence. Area secure. Continue patrol. Not a very efficient guardsman, is a cyberman. Humans will be upgraded, eh? From what to what? 
Are all humans? Far more harm to us than we can do to them. I'm ready when you are. Brilliant. 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 Systems operating at maximum efficiency. But now, let's go. Up and out of here. Oh, Matt. You take River Song on the best dates, don't you? Every girl's dream. Deathly danger. Halt. Prepare to be upgraded. <laughs> this looks kind of silly the way you're pulling, but okay. Wee. Hi, brother. Ah, here's the lift. Hang on, I can't get in it. But maybe there's another way. We could ride on top. Brilliant! We're not gonna get squished, are we? It's boring. Nope. Oh, okay. Do 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 jumping, jumping. Yes. Good going, brother. Yes, this is definitely the underground. Change here for the Northern Line mainline services and the Yeti slaves of the Great Intelligence. Never a dull moment. You even make tunnels sound exotic. Yeti slaves? Ugh. And here we are, London Underground. What a nice and snazzy place, eh? Come on, Ruff. Oh, shit. Doctor, Cyberman. Basically, run. Cyber Squadron, advance. You know, maybe we should just give in to the Cybermen. I mean, an upgrade for the entire human race sounds kinda <laughs> necessary without like getting too political. Well, lovely. That didn't sit us back a million years. That's it. Signal pipes lowered. Climb across. Come on, River. You know, for an archaeologist in prison, she sure does keep in shape. <laughs> Come on, River. They're coming. They're not far away. That's it. Signal pipes lowered. Climb across. Oh, goodness, they're close. You know, Doctor, with all this running about you do in your adventures, you'd coming. think you'd have the decency to put on the fucking tracksuit. I mean, it would be a bit more practical than a bow tie. That's it. Signal <coughs> lowered. Climb across. They're still getting closer. Who are you? Closer. I am the tracksuit. I mean, the the doc the the Doctor tracksuit guy. Just run. Run, monsters! Run! They're right on top of us. Locked. All right, River. You shoot the deadlocks, and I'll sonic my way through. It is the Time Lord, known as the Doctor. He must be deleted. Delete, oh. delete, delete. 
Kill the Cyberman. Keep blasting and I'll keep Sonic in. Lock, come on, come on, open up. You know, you'd think the Cyberman would fear the Doctor by now. Oh hey! Humans! Bad happened here. Intense. By the looks of it. What a mess. Hey, did you hear about the circus fire? Think it was intense! Right in ah, oh, I've gotta go hang myself. But we're not out of the woods yet. The Cybermen will find a way through to those railway lines. We have to make sure they can't. <coughs> There's still power. Electrify the rails, and the Cybermen won't be able to go near them. Here, take the Sonic. Activate the junction switches. Shot the lines one at a time. Hold them off. You're a true gentleman, Doctor. Leaving River to fend for herself and all. Humans, your assistance will fail. Surrender now. Stage one out of three complete. Sensors detect anomalous readings. Burn! Burn! The humans will be upgraded. Unidentified movement detected. Oh yeah, this isn't stressful at all. What is he doing over there? Oh, huh. okay. That was weird. Oh well, at least it wasn't game breaking. Ow. Sonic screwdriver equipped. I detect silicone. God damn it, over. River. We'll be safe there. Thank you, whoever you are. You can't make Cybermen without a factory ship, and you can't run a factory ship without a cyber planner. So where's it hiding? The road's collapsed. Must have been that gas explosion below us. No way through here. The time storm has ripped open more time corridors, but this one is dormant. I wonder where it leads. Magic timey wimey stuff. It's, empty. it's so still, so silent. Well, silence will fall. Spoilers. Oh well, no, not spoilers for the game, spoilers for the TV show. Yeah, I hope I'm not spoiling too much Another for you guys. I mean, the strain on the vortex it is Doctor Who and it does have Matt Smith on the tin, so I was Excellent. thinking maybe yeah. people who Very racy table legs. already have watched the a bad Smith portion of the show, or at least don't set care enough alarms. to care well, about to spoilers, find to find a way out. we'll watch this video. Otherwise, I apologize. This is a very good show. You should watch it anyway. Come on, River. Come on, River. Come on, River. Oh god damn it, did I break the game? Where is she? Dr. River Song, you get over here this instant. <sighs> you know, if Matt Smith is the doctor, is, oh, sh is she the nurse? Would, would that make sense? Okay, come on, River. Come along, pond. Uh, 
spoilers. Nope, that's that's a wall apparently. All right. Why did she jump? Oh well. Doctor Who using the elevator. That looks dangerous. Slam one of those and you can turn a planet full of people into Cybermen in just a few days. The Cyber Planet will be somewhere inside. I hope you're feeling nimble. That's a lot of Cybermen to dodge past. Oh, now here we go. Time corridor suddenly active. Mysteriously perfect timing. Still, gift horse and all that. As soon as I step into that corridor, the Cybermen are going to storm in here looking for the source of the signal. So, it's my job to keep them busy? Yeah, just till I get back. I won't be long. Just a century or two. What do you mean? Pay attention. This is about to get complicated. If we climb up the construction site on the other side of the road, we can use a crane to get on the roof of this building. Then we just hop down to the factory ship. But the gas explosion. The road is in ruins. Not a problem. The time corridor. I'll head back in time and fiddle with the plans for the gas pipes. Have them built under a different road. So the explosion will happen somewhere else. Okay, so complete disregard for the people who live the other place. Good thinking, Matt. How did the Time Lord cross the road? Through some minor temporal engineering achieved via the use of a breakdown in the fabric of the time-space continuum. Good luck! You'll need it. It does look shiny, though. Even though it's a bit convenient. Use space to jump up and grab your head pipe. That's a bit long. Um. Whee! Oh, well, by then. How are these things just opening and shutting on their own? A textile mill. Funny how times change. Probably got bombed in the war. Never had a chance to grow up and be renovated into luxury apartments. Got replaced by a concrete office block. Oh well, I can see I have exactly one minute left of my episode uh, schedule, so... Um, ah, I should be able to use the Sonic to move that cradle from here. I will call it quits for now, and um, I will see you in the next episode. Hopefully, this time the video will actually have recorded properly, or I will once again be forced to go back and play all the way through once more. Fingers crossed. Um, right. So, um, thank you for watching, and tune in next time for Doctor Who The Eternity Clock. Bye.